Okay, very good. Um, we'd like to demonstrate a very simple, practical, waterless urinal made with recycled materials, very, very low cost, very practical. And, um, and so here it is, it's simply a funnel cut from a um, post-consumer plastic bottle, right? This is the ones that chlorine and disinfectants come in, it's cut at a diagonal, right? And, and so this can be used very practically by men, with different ways to hold it, but it could be held like this, or like this. Women can use it in different positions. Puedo estar en cumplillas, o puedo también abrir un poco la pierna y puedo también depositar la orina, y ya la orina se va mediante la manguera. Yeah. Simplemente para poder ir a las plantas directo, entonces se le empuja y se queda. Gracias. And it adapts to any height, right? The taller person is holding it up higher, the shorter person is holding it down lower. And um, this can even be used together with the flush toilet, at least men. can sit like this on the edge of the toilet, the urine is going where we want it, the feces are going where we want them, no problem. Uh, whenever we want, since it's right next to the shower, we can rinse it, and the water is going together with the urine to the soil among our plants. And, um, and so this is, this is one very practical model right, made with this bottle, and there are other models. This one makes a bigger target. This is from a fabric softener bottle. This is especially thinking about women, right? And the woman has the handle here, right, and can be at whatever position she wants. For men, they can be smaller bottles, right? that a man can easily aim into, right? The penis isn't touching the edge. You have a finger between the penis and the edge. And it goes into the same pose. This shampoo bottle is excellent, right? And it's even golden, like the liquid gold that's going in, right? So very practical. A detail on the connections here. It's a little bit of a challenge to connect from this size mouth to this size hose, but the trick is to cut a piece of this plastic just the right size and to fill all the space in here with silicone caulking, right? And one of the other tricks when you do this is you put a stick in the hose, it just barely fits in, so it's holding it very rigid until it all dries, and then the next day you can pull the stick out, right? And another important detail is this, this piece of plastic mesh. That's to keep garbage from going in and plugging the hole. And um, yeah, so very practical, very simple. And it doesn't take up room. When, when it's not in use, it's just hanging there on the wall. It's not in anyone's way. And uh, now let's go see what's happening on the outside. And from the waterless urinal inside the bathroom, urine goes into a hose. We just use the cheapest hose we can get. This is the half inch ones for electrical conduits, right? It's down here under the ground and it's going along here and here ending there. We're going to be planting plants here. There will be plants. They're not planted yet. And about every 50 centimeters, we make a little hole for the urine to get out. That can be with a knife or a nail or red hot, that, different things. Even it can be a saw. You can saw just to where it's breaking through to the center. And, uh, and so maybe 10 centimeters below the surface. Here's a little bit, it's a little bit higher, right? But it's, you know, it's near the surface, 
soaking in right in the active zone where all the roots are. And so there will be beautiful plants here very soon. And so I hope everyone liked this idea. And we're happy to answer any questions you might want to send us and uh, keep having a great summit. We just need a carefully selected plastic bottle cut the right way, a hook, some flexible hose. The plastic hose through the construction the way they do electrical conduits. Perforated hose buried in the ground out among the plants. That hose has small perforations. We can do very precise this way with lollipop sticks. It actually does work. The length of the hose depends on how many people are there, and this can be experimented with, depends on the climate. All of this could also just run into jugs and tanks like the rich earth people do, so no problem. We also need silicone for sealing those hose connections. This is especially for individual use or close family members, roommates. Models that don't need to be touched at all can be installed in public bathrooms. Advantages, small amounts of urine go to the plants all the time, right? Rather than big doses, it might overdose them. The urine is distributed automatically and fresh before it has time to ferment. There's less concern about hygiene in the garden because the urine is under that soil. And there's no stench or loss of nitrogen thanks to this same layer of soil. This urinal can be used by men or women of any size or preferred position. Three-year-old girls can lay it on the floor, use it, and then somebody hangs it back up on the wall. This can even be used in conjunction with a flush toilet. Hang on the wall, make sure that all the urine drains down through the hose and it keeps it out of the way. This model has extremely low monetary and environmental costs and this type of reuse of existing bottles values human skill over capital investment, facilitates do-it-yourselfism, and replication in other cities and countries. I've done these buried perforated hoses for 20 years, and this system in the house for one year, both with no problem.